Okay, let's go for Algebra 2, Lesson 10-7, Rational Exponent Equations. Um, okay, fun stuff. So, um, what we're going to do is try to solve, what the, there we go. <laughs> So, um, well, what do you do on this? Well, basically, you take the, what the heck? <laughs> you take the, you, you know, what you do is you take 27x to the 3 halves, and then you, you, you do the reciprocal. And because this will be, this, you multiply three halves times two thirds, and you get six over six, right? Which is one. So you get x, which gives you what you want, because that's what algebra does, it gives you x. So this is basically the third root of 27 squared, right? Well, third root of 27 is three, because three times three times three is 27. So, and then you square it. So x has to be 3 squared, which is 9. And that's the deal. That's how you do it. So, let's take another one. Let's take uh, this one. This is, this is an interesting one. This is number 2. So, really, what you have here is... Um, you have you have one over x to three halves power is the negative uh, it gives you this and then this is that well basically that means this is equal to that right so I mean they're in the same spot right so they have to be equal to each other so you have three halves is equal to seven 729 and then take x to the 3 halves and then take 2 thirds of that 729 to 2 thirds so um, you know then you get x of course and then you know then just I suppose you know we could really do this this is I mean you want to do it you could do it, whoops, you can do this, and you can just take that, and then quantity, two-thirds power, and, uh, you know, calculator will do it for you, and you get 81, but um, you can do, I mean, you can think about it, too, which is probably a nice thing to do. So a third root of eight. What's the what's the third root of what's the third root of seven twenty nine? Nine probably. So you, we could just take that seven twenty nine, or as you can take nine times nine times nine. Whoops. Oh, delete delete. Times nine. So, 729, imagine that. So, and then you square 9, and you get and you get 81. Okay, so that's that one. So, you can see the pattern developing here. Um, so, this one is just, um, you, you just add one to both sides, and you get 27 equals... 20, 27n to the 3 fourths power. Um, so, I think I'm going to move this out of the way here for now. And then, so, um, the only thing I can do is multiply everything by 27 times. 
four thirds. And then I my fourth I make this to the four thirds power. So that you know that cancels. So you get twenty-seven n and this is a four thirds. Well it's a four. And the third root of twenty-seven again is three to the fourth power is equal to twenty-seven n. Well, three to the fourth power. Uh, whoops, three to the fourth power is eighty-one. So eighty-one divided by twenty-seven is equal to n. So, but eighty-one is nine times. Whoops, eighty-one is nine times nine, right? Twenty-seven is nine times three, so that cancels. 9 divided by 3 is 3, so n is equal to 3. Okay, and then uh, this one, this number 4, and you know, you can see the pattern really developing here. Um, minus 10, minus 10, I get minus 64 equals minus m minus 10 to the 3 halves. Well, that the minuses go away. Then I'm going to take and multiply everything by 2 thirds here. 2 thirds. This gives me m minus 10. Is this cancels this goes to 1, right? That's the third root of 64 squared. Well, the third root of 64 is 4 squared. It was m minus 10. Because, well, if you want to make sure, whoops, I want to make sure the third root of, so it takes 64 to the uh, 1 divided by 3 power and I get 4. So that's right. So 4 squared is 16 equals m minus 10. Add 10 to both sides. And I get m equals 26. Okay, one more. Um, I'm done. This one, pretty much the same thing. Uh, you know, the, the pattern's really pretty obvious. So then to add 3 to both sides, I get 8 minus 2x to the 5 fourths power is equal to 32. So I, again, I'm going to take this guy to the 4 fifths power, this guy to the 4 fifths power. And so this means this is the fifth root of 32 to the fourth. And this cancels, so I get 8 minus 2x. Well, the fifth root of 32, I bet you that is 2. It is 2 to the fifth. Well, what's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2? That's 4 times 2 is 8 times 2. 16 times 2 is 32. Bingo. So 8 minus 2x equals 2 to the fourth power. So I can't. Okay, so 8. Well, I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides. Well, but I got to get 2 to the fourth. Well, remember 2 to the fourth was 16, right? So um, I get two minus 2x equals 16 minus 8. So minus 2x is equal to 8 divided by minus 2, so x is equal to minus 4. And that is, that was the last one, right? Yep, that's it. Notice the pattern is pretty, pretty obvious. I think, I hope. If not, see me, come and see me.